What's the best theory you've ever heard, and what's the one that you kind of thought, hey, that's actually kind of cool. It's not the right one, but it's really cool. Uh, well, the one that I, I like, and it sort of was a, a, you know, everyone was talking about it for a while to me, was the purgatory one, because it, it just was such a cool idea. And though that's not what it is, it's like it was such a great idea, and I just loved that that, that was something that people thought, hey, I think that's what could be happening. And you could say that, you know, it's a, you know, being on the island is a metaphor, and it is that in some ways, so I, I like that, but it, you know, that, it isn't literally what it is. And, and we've, we've heard, like I said before, fans of the show, they're so sharp and, and smart, and, and the things that we've read are, are so often either so in sync with the stuff that we're doing, which got, gets us really excited, or you know, they're better. Like, it's, it's like when you have so many people who are talking about the thing, it's like, it just, it's, it's exciting to see. So we're doing the story that we're doing, and you know, part of one of the tools that we use is like, you know, trying to gauge the audience. When you're on stage in a play, you know if it's working night after night, because you can hear the audience. In a TV show, until the internet, uh, it was sort of a, a vacuum. You know, you get fan letters, but it wasn't quite everyone. Now it's like instantaneous response, and you, you kind of, that does, for me at least, uh, I, I'm so grateful and beholden to the fans, and so to not listen to them would be moronic, I think.